Hello and welcome to Guitar Gear Gyan with me Sahil Jakhtiani where we talk about all things related to the Indian guitar gear scene and in today's episode mm, I've got a Marshall in the box what's the Marshall I'm gonna get to it in a bit but before that make sure you click that subscribe button and ring that bell to stay up to date with all our latest videos okay so I've got a Marshall JCM 800 studio packed up and ready to be opened along with it I've got a 2x12 cab okay this is going to be an epic unboxing because it's it's huge the packet's huge but we're gonna get through it got my cutter where is it it's right here let's begin by unboxing this beautiful baby it's a lot of packaging huh these guys really know how to parcel their apps. Have a look, my dears. The JCM 800 Studio Edition. 20 watts. 20 watts, nay, 20 watts. Oh, beautiful man. Oh, lead series JCM 800. It's here, it's here, it's here. Oh, wow. Look at that. It's got a presence, bass, middle, treble, master, preamp volume. Where is my power? Oh, your master is there, right? So I could get by. I think I could attenuate it. Let's see. Somewhat. If there's a master volume, I'm sure I won't blow up the building or get the neighbors to come with pitchforks outside my door. Looks good. It's got a DI out. All right. Nice. It's got a um, effects loop as well on off button as well with that you've got an option for 1 by 8 4 16 nice this is a pretty impressive amp now i'm going to unbox the cabinet god help me Okay, so there's an option to put uh, these, uh, I think, uh, wheels at the bottom of this. I don't think they sent me any wheels. Why didn't you send me my wheels, man? Why no wheels? So I'm gonna have to call them up. I'm gonna call up my dealer and uh, maybe order four wheels because lugging this fellow around is going to be difficult. Okay, let's not destroy the cab. My God, my back. Okay, woo, that's heavy. Oh boy, what a workout, that was good. All right, let me see. Okay, that's the half stack. <sighs> All right, it's the SC212, I think. Uh, what does it say? I'm just gonna look at this. Okay, so it's 8 ohms, which is quite good. So I can go 1 by 8 uh, in this section. All right, that's good. I'm just going to find the uh, power cable. Okay, so there's an instrument cable or is this some, is this a, uh, not too sure. This doesn't state whether it's an instrument or a speaker cable. So I'm not gonna mess with that. I'm just gonna leave it sad. And this is the power cable. The power, I got the power. Okay, this is just basically an unboxing video. This is not a, you know, a review video of this product. I'm definitely gonna do a, a, a proper review of this product. But I was so excited when I got it, I thought, man, we better do an unboxing video and showcase, uh, you know, what I've got. And I've always wanted to get a JCM 800, but of course, with the JCM 800, attenuation is a massive problem. It's very, very, very loud. And, you know, um, I already have a 4x12 orange cab here. I didn't want to get another one. So I thought to myself, you know, let me try out the studio version. There's a, there's a lead series studio version, basically, this is what it is. I've bought this, Marshall have not sent this to me. Um, this is not a sponsored video by any means. This is totally something I've always wanted to get. So I've got my dream crunch amp 
and I'm pretty much sorted now. I mean, I've got the Tone Master, I've got the Rev for high gain, and I've got this. I mean, what else you need? You know, it's like it's like dream city for me, dream tonal city for me. Maybe the Vox, maybe it might get upgraded. That's not even mine, but yeah. But other than that. Um, I'm pretty happy with this. I'm going to plug it in and I'm going to uh, use my Les Paul, just strum a couple of chords, play a couple of notes and uh, just give you my initial response to how it sounds. Okay, so I'm plugged in. I've got my Gibson Les Paul Standard 2008 going straight into Marshall, iconic sound. Um, I am on uh, the low sensitivity. Let me just see what's the difference. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't want to go on that. I'm low sensitivities. Okay. It's like I can't afford to have, you know, my neighbors coming with pitchforks at me. So I'm looking for a mad crunch sound, but at a lower volume. So um, let me just try it first. Just going to see how, what's a playable volume for me. Okay, so I've got it like on the low setting now. Let me try on the high setting. Um, there's a standby switch and a low switch and a high switch. Um, of course, I haven't done my research on this product. It's just an initial, uh, you know, impressions video. So let me just see this now. Low volumes, it's okay. That sounds better, this high uh, uh, setting over here. So I'm going to crank the preamp, uh, let's go full. Wow, that's creamy, that's really smooth. Okay, so you're not hearing this through a DI or mic tab, this is straight through my lapel mic, so it's going to probably sound awful to you, but uh, this is not a review video, this is just an initial uh, impressions video. Yeah, on the, uh, the bridge pickup, it's um, really bitey is what you would expect with the Marshall. So definitely going to have to tone down the treble a little bit. Let me see that. Yeah, but it's a classic bitey Marshall sound. Um, it's loud. 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 So, and this is only at like a quarter volume. So, I think what I'm going to do is in order to drive uh, the power amp tubes, I'm probably going to create a kind of a master, master volume kind of a thing where I'll put uh, like, you know, a volume attenuation pedal, like a little black box into the FX loop of this uh, amp. And then I'll drive the power amp tubes a little bit more. Yeah, but definitely this is that mad Marshall bitey sound, you know, the one that you look for. No, 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 no copyright, copyright, copyright. Cannot do that, cannot do that. So a lot of people ask me, why don't I play riffs from like, you know, songs and Why do I do this generic stuff? Why don't I play some songs on it? Well, because YouTube's famous for uh, either blocking your videos or claiming your videos um, if you use other people's content. So as far as we can, we definitely go with our own content, original stuff or stuff we make up on the spot. Yeah, but all in all, back to the amp. I'm looking forward to this review. Uh, I definitely need to get a some kind of an attenuation solution for it because it is loud. This is a 20 watt head. I think there's an option for five watts, is there? Nope, 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 nope. I don't see that, I don't see that. Okay, so um, all I know is, is that maybe, maybe this low high thing is that basically that 
ไปเว้ยอย่า there's less air you know how people talk about oh there's air coming from the amp there's air coming from this amp and from this cab there's a lot of Ooh. air let me put it on Ooh. my foot can feel it it's like really 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 loud so yeah I mean, it's interesting. I already have a lunchbox uh, amp that's fully under control that you can play without a cab. So yes, definitely, I'm enjoying this one. The Caller, for example, is a great uh, amp. You know, if you're looking for attenuated option, it's got a, a output option as well. So you basically, uh, you know, you can crank the power amp and crank the preamp and have it at uh, bedroom levels. For this one, I've got to get another pedal for that. But man, this sound is awesome. It's like your typical Marshall-esque sound, you know. So man, it's like amazing. It the JCM 800 is something really iconic. It's something that uh, you know. I've seen so many rock stars use on their songs. But all in all, yeah, um, we'll talk more about the, you know, the, the the amp and the costing, and maybe run pedals through it, uh, run like reverb through it. Um, we're gonna do a lot of things with this amp for the review. But uh, all in all, right now, all I can say is, mm, I got a Marshall. Mm. Hope you enjoyed that video. Make sure you press that like button, click the subscribe button, and ring that bell to stay up to date with all our latest videos. In order to promote our videos on YouTube, we require a lot of interaction from you guys. So your comments, your shares, and your likes all do help. Also, if you want to help us in making more videos, become a member on GigZ. Our GigZ page link is in the description below we've got courses and a lot of other stuff also on that um, we're on social media make sure you're following us to stay up to date with all our latest activities and above all else make sure you stay safe by taking steam washing your hands and wearing your mask and rock on